Hey everybody, welcome back. We're ready to continue with Diablo. We're heading into level 10 next. Of course, we're still in the caves. Some chests over here to open. A barrel with nothing in it. Potion of healing. I actually uh, went back and found the other potion of healing that I uh, left behind. Or did I? Let me go check. One moment. Alright, I went back up to level 9 to make sure the uh, healing potion I dropped was still sitting where I left it. <laughs> no, I must have picked it back up. There's the stairs to level 11. There's an enemy approaching, a flayed one. These are the uh, highest level version of the Overlord enemies. <coughs> These guys don't have fire, so I should probably switch back to Arcane's Valor. So we'll do that. We'll keep the uh, Crimson Plate of Thieves on hand in case we need it. Here come some more flayed ones. Arcane's Valor provides a bit more armor class than the uh, Blade of Thieves. There we go, took him down. Come on, go down. There you go. Use the healing scroll and pick up the Book of Chain Lightning. Which I can't read because it requires 54 to magic. And I've only got 38. Whoa. Well, these guys don't shoot fire, they shoot lightning. Let's lure them over here. They're called Red Storms. So we got lightning demons. Got the short battle bow and a scroll of Nova, which I can't use. And even if I could, I'm pretty sure lightning demons are immune to lightning. I mean, right? Makes sense. Alright, I'm gonna go uh, drop some stuff off in town. Actually, instead of using a portal, I could probably just uh, head back up to level 9 and take the stairs up. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Show over here where I've been stashing potions and extra items I don't need to be carrying on me. Since I currently don't need the Crimson Blade of Thieves, I'm gonna leave my armor here and come back for it in case I need it. Before I uh, head back to the cave and sell the things and such, let's uh, check with Pepin one more what time. Is you, my friend? Nope, still no elixirs. I could have sworn they started selling them by the time we get to the cave, but I guess not. I'll just have to keep checking until they eventually become available. Alright, picked up flame dart in town in case I need to use my bow. Let's head up here, there's more flayed ones, more poison spears. A red storm throwing lightning at me from somewhere. <coughs> There we go, he's down. Let the poison uh, run out before I go. I can see the red storm up there. Let's see if I can shoot him down with the flame dart. If I can equip the flame dart. Closer. I see you over there. What's my chance to hit with this bow? 90? There we go. One went down. Come on, hit the enemies. 
sure you like to move around a lot. Alright, that's not working. I think I'm too far away to reliably hit them as a warrior with a bow. There we go. Place for them to cross over to reach me over here. Come on. Yeah, they don't have a, a lot of doors and such in the caves to bottleneck them, but there's a little stream uh, spots here where there's openings where you can cross. Where you can kind of get them. That. Take down another one of these guys, and there's another elixir of strength just laying here. So I'll drink it, raising strength up to 58. Funny how uh, on the ground elixirs of strength look very similar to mana potions. Let's see, a flame wave scroll. I can actually use this spell. What a flame wave is, is essentially just a moving wall of fire. If I see some more lightning demons, I'll throw it at them to show it off. There we go. <laughs> I think I took out a poison spitter with the flame wave. See a moving light pattern over there. That means there's a unique enemy. Wonder if I can get his attention. No, I don't have enough mana to do that. Oh boy. Those aren't uh, lightning throwers. <laughs> there is one over there, but that's not it. These are obsidian lords. I believe these guys are tied to the Anvil of Fury. I don't want to stand and fight them here. Yeah, Black Storm. This particular mob is appears whenever the Anvil of Fury is on level 10. They're the uh, basically the top tier of the Rhino Demons. Looks like they got themselves stuck over there, which works in my favor. See if I can bottleneck them over here where we killed the uh, flayed ones. If you guys don't want to come to me, that's fine. I'll take out my bow and shoot you. Okay, that's not working. One moment. I got a potion of full rejuvenation. Some of them are finding their way across the, uh, the stream. Another one. Hey, if you guys know the way, just say so. How I don't waste my time pulling out my bow. Like Black Storm here. He's down. He dropped a sword, a scimitar. Take out this other obsidian lord crossing the river. And I leveled up. Alright, we're gonna put the points into strength. Put one into vitality and two into dexterity. And no, that scimitar isn't the uh, weapon that <laughs> you get for the Anvil of Fury quest. I still have to obtain the anvil itself. Alright, let's see how they like this. Okay. Great fighting all of them but right now is becoming less of an option. As you can see, <laughs> starting to become tough again. 
a couple of them went down, I'm gonna drink my full, full mana potion. Go down. chest that was trapped with a Nova spell. Yeah, one of them had a scroll of fireball. I think the Nova hit some uh, more obsidian lords or something. Blade ones are immune to fire, but red storms aren't. I just managed to not hit them. Yeah, fireball, like I was mentioning in a previous part, shoots out a ball of fire that'll explode on impact and deal damage to enemies near the blast. One of them dropped a magic broadsword. More coming. I get my uh, healing ready. Two. Alright, where those Night Clan archers are, that's where the Anvil of Fury will be. Take out some blade ones. There we go take him down. I think I grabbed a. Yeah, I can identify a couple items here. Sword of Trouble, minus eight to all attributes. That's getting thrown away, it's not worth anything. <laughs> Alright, let's give him some uh, lightning. Not enough mana. There we go, we took out some of the archers. Might be able to take out the rest with flame dart. past the obsidian lords who can't shoot back. So I'll just take advantage and shoot them. There's the last Night Clan archer. Take him down with my flame dart arrows. There we go. I knew uh, hanging on to that would come in handy. Some uh, flayed ones in this room, but they can't get out because they can't open the door. They're still overlords at heart. <laughs> I'll let them out. Obsidian Lord crashed into me from behind while I was trying to fight them. It's fine, I got plenty of healing potions back in town. And I should have enough room to grab the Anvil of Fury and head back. I just gotta get past whatever is, is still left up here guarding it. There we go. There's the Anvil of Fury. Let's grab the gold up here first. We'll open the town portal. Take out that flayed one. That is gold. I need to get this to Griswold. And now we have the Anvil of Fury. Let's go find out what we can get for it. So back to town. We'll grab a few of my uh, healing potions that I left in town as excess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Go get our healing. What ails you, my friend? Go talk to Kane. Hello, my friend. 
Stay a while and listen. Sword of the Titans, 22 to strength. That was the scimitar. And the club is 18 to dexterity. So really that broadsword of the minus 8 doll attributes is the only uh, bad item. I left that back in the labyrinth because I can't even sell it for anything. But now let's talk to Griswold and see what he has to say now that I have the Anvil of Fury. Oh, I can hardly believe it! This is the Anvil of Fury! Good work, my friend! Now, we'll show those bastards that there are no weapons in hell more deadly than those made by men! Take this, and may light protect you! And that completes the uh, Anvil of Fury, and we get Griswold's Edge as our reward. It's a sword, it's another broadsword, but this one's way better than that Sword of Trouble. You'll see it has 4 to 12, it has less damage than the Heavy Sword of Puncturing. But let's have Kane Hello, identify my it. Friend. Stay a while and listen. Now let's check it out. It has a fire hit damage, 1 to 10, and a 25% increased chance to hit. It has a fast attack, meaning it swings faster than other weapons. Knocks targets back, which means if I hit an enemy, it'll knock them away from me. It gives a plus 20 to mana and a minus 20 to hit points. So yeah, even though I have a 172, using it would drop me down to 152. But let's equip it and see how my uh, stats change. Yeah, my damage goes down quite a bit actually, 14 to 22. But remember, it has that fire hit. So what I might do is actually hang on to it and use it against enemies that are weak to fire. Well, what can I do for you? So let's sell some of the things we don't need. And we'll repair the things we do. Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna take Griswold's Edge, I'm gonna put it over here next to my other uh, specialized equipment. There we go. And then, when I run into a floor where enemies are more vulnerable to fire, I'll pick Griswold's Edge up and use that as my weapon. And yeah, we've completed the Anvil of Fury quest by bringing the anvil to Griswold and getting the new sword. But right now, the heavy sword of puncturing is still stronger than Griswold's Edge. So we'll stick to that for fighting these enemies, which are... Oh, which are immune to fire, meaning Griswold's Edge would do less damage to them. I mentioned in the previous part I might run into unique poison spitters that, as a group, work more like ranged fighters. I think I just found them. First we'll defeat all the flayed ones. There we go. There they are, there's a... I gotta find out the name of the unique. His name is Plagrath, I think. As you can see, they're not gonna come to me, they're gonna... They're gonna hang back and spit acid at me. Man. That could be a problem. See, they got pretty decent range on that. I still have the flame dart. Maybe I can get them with that. Where are you at? I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit them from this range with flame dart. Okay, there we go. I can beat him if I take evasive action. Alright, come get me. When I'm out of range, they usually move in. Or are they using the uh, foreground as cover? Alright, there's one. Another down. See, even with the uh, bow, this is kind of tricky. I can't 
can't tell if I'm aiming in the right direction. Well, I think I am. I don't think I can hit them reliably from this range. Yeah, you can see why these guys are dangerous to a warrior. Wonder if I can back off and lure them to me. I might have to go back and get my lightning uh, spell ready by giving myself mana. Okay, something popped in. Come on, if I can just get them over here. That's a lot of them. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, this is uh, not going well. The worst part is they have like the best uh, spot to uh, snipe at me. Fireball scroll. Maybe I can uh, hit one with these. I don't think my fireball hit them or even came out. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. I've got a plan. Yeah, Alright, I went back to town, bought some uh, potions of full mana from Adria to get my mana back up. Here, I got one with a lightning spell. There we go. Not enough mana. I think the one that's shooting is the unique. Yeah, and one of his friends. Let's see if I can get over there and take him out. Get over there. Right, if I get him cornered, I think I got him. There we go. Yeah, he fired quick, but not quick enough. I got him. <laughs> he dropped me another broadsword, which I'm assuming won't compare to Griswold's Edge, which I'm not even currently using. level 10. don't think any more uh, surprises will be on my way since I killed all the uh, Night Clan archers and all the other enemies. <laughs> yeah, the sword over there was the sword of trouble I threw down, which is worthless. Right, go ahead and heal real quick. There was a ring in here. Good because I don't have any other ring. Hopefully, this one has a positive effect. I'll check it out before we wrap up this part. Hidden in this corner? Nope, nothing. Laid one on the other side of the river here. I'll just cross the river and go to him, because if I try to use flame dart, he'll cross the river and come to me. So we may as well meet each other halfway. There we go. More barrels to smash. 
door? No? Nothing over there. Go back around and we'll try the uh, little unmarked corner up here. Nothing. All right, let's see. Where else haven't I been? Okay, there's an area near the stairway leading to level 11 I haven't checked out yet, so let's go check it out. Walk by the corpse of uh, Black Storm and all the Obsidian Lords. Flayed ones. Don't have enough to cast uh, lightning <laughs> or charge bolt. <laughs> so we'll just cut them down. Well, maybe not if all four of them attack me at once. That'd be bad. Let's try right here. <laughs> Come on. Get hit and run on him. There we go. Alright, you're on the other side of a door you can't get through. That means I can just come over here and take you out this way. I think he's trying to actively dodge my arrows. But you're not nearly as tough to bring down as the butcher was. Oh, there's a poison spitter on the other side. I'll just shoot it down. Now we'll switch back to my sword and shield. And I think that's the whole floor down. With the cave uh, levels, it's sometimes hard to tell. Alright, yeah, I think to wrap up, I'll head back to town and have that ring identified. Alright, I saved before I check out the sword. I got a Jade Sword here that gives a 27% resist to all. That's not too bad. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Ring of Power, 11 to Strength. Very nice. So yeah, we're gonna put that on. So now I have one that gives me 8 to Vitality and one that gives me 11 to Strength, which is pretty good. I'll hang on to Flame Dart since I might still use it. Oh, we can sell these other oh, items. What can I do for you? Let's see, should I hang on to the Jade Sword for its resist all? Eh, I'm sure I'll find armor or something that'll work better. Go ahead and repair all the items and we'll check his uh, items in here. He has a Lightning Axe of the Stars. <laughs> 11 to all attributes and a lightning hit of 2 to 20 on an axe that does 10 to 25. That's a pretty hefty duty weapon. 47,500 gold for it. <laughs> yeah, if I was going to use an axe, I would buy that one. Let's see. I can probably still hang on to the flame dart, use it later. Don't have any excess potions. But I think we're good for now. This will be where we wrap up since I finished in the level 10 of the cave. So in the next part, we'll head into uh, level 11. I don't think there will be any quests for the uh, next couple of cave areas, or so I might cover uh, two of them and we'll wrap up the caves. So once again, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you for my next video.